Let's go now to our reporter Logan Church who's on the west coast at the site of the Pike River Memorial. Logan, you've spent the day in Greymouth. How disappointed were the families today about this delay? Hi Lisa, yes there was there was a mix here. Some people were very disappointed um, but they were also understanding as well. Uh, one thing that all of the family members that we've been speaking to has, who have, uh, have said repeatedly throughout this entire process is that health and safety comes first. They, that's what they have always wanted, they want better health and safety standards on work sites. So they are certainly very understanding of the situation uh, that's where in that there were un, uh, unusual uh, gas readings but as I said certainly some disappointments. Um, I remember speaking to um, Anna Osborne earlier today before the news broke that the re-entry would not be happening tomorrow and she told me she was incredibly excited for tomorrow as it really was quite a milestone for her and just speaking to some of these families you can really see the pain and the frustration of the last eight and a half years etched on their faces. Um, we are standing now here at the uh, Pike River Memorial site just to give you an idea exactly where it is. Pike River is about 10 minutes behind me that way and Greymouth is about 45 minutes uh, that way in front of me. And here you can really just see the, uh, the, the passion that the families have put into fighting to get their loved ones back. It's quite incredible actually just looking around uh, the sun setting and it's starting to rain but we can see solar lights popping up all over the place. Fresh bouquets of flowers are being laid here still on a regular uh, basis. Um, if you haven't been here all the names are laid out on stones around the site. It's, it's quite spectacular, really really special place but certainly the focus for the families is getting back into the mine but only if it can be done safely. Thanks Logan, that is Logan Church who's joining us this evening from the Pike River Memorial.